All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Third time's a charm. I'm trying to do this as best, as quickly, and efficiently as possible. But just a quick apology for not having a video on Friday. My friend from out of town was in town um, from Missouri, so I went to dinner with him, and by the time I got back, it was really late and didn't have the time to upload a this video that I wanted to do. Um, but anyways, moving on. Um, this is a poorly drawn panel, and this is a light representation or the device which will be used with the switch leg. And this is a video about the three-way scenario and how that works internally and externally. I'm gonna draw this internal picture right here and then go to the garage and physically cut open the three wire and show you how this works in the real world. And I'm excited to do that because I've never done that before. And I wanna show you guys how that works and find out for myself as well. But anyways, I'm trying to explain this to you um, because when I first learned it was really confusing and I wanna show you guys uh, try to make that unconfusing for you guys. So on a three-way switch, you have normally four screws, your ground, your two travelers, and your hot. Um, and the hot is called the common. So the black screw is the common, which comes from one side of the panel and one side of the switch leg. So I'm gonna draw that real quick and I'm gonna skip the ground wire because that's not really relevant to this picture at the moment. Um, so this is gonna be, I'm gonna actually Try to do this accurate. Um, so the, the black will be the common screw. This blue will be a traveler, and the other red will be the other. The red will be the other traveler. And I keep messing this up. Um, I keep switching the black and the blue. But anyways, so I got the black as the common and the blue as a traveler. So this is the traveler. I can't even spell right now. Traveler, and this is another traveler. I might be wrong. Okay, so cut your um, panel connecting to the to the common right there. So one side power, one side switch leg, um, and then your one traveler wire here, and your other traveler wire here. So these screws represent on the switch, um, and you have your your regular switch looks like your three way switch looks like this with your four screws like that. So I'm just representing the common screw right there and then the two traveler screws right there. Um, and this is two separate switches right here. So this is, one, this is one switch right here and this is one switch right there. So um, now that I got that out of the way, I want to show you guys how this works. So you have a, this little flipper here or the on and off switch, but it's not really on and off because it's multi-directional like a normal switch. You flip it on and on the top and it's on and then you turn it off on the bottom. But because of the three the three-way scenario you can turn the light on flip it down if the other switch is on the upside and vice versa if this side is down this side is up it still works and i'm going to show you that right now so your power is coming in this direction right here and you have this flipper here which represents the position of the switch so i'm just going to draw that right there so power comes down on this screw transfers through the switch um, down the blue traveler and then it goes up to the switch leg so the light turns on if you flip this switch right here down then the power is sitting on this red traveler on this side and it's not being it's not turning the light on because it's not connected right here through this position going up to the switch to the light i'm going to probably mess that up a lot by saying switch leg and light but um so power's coming down here, red traveler, power's staying on this red screw because it's not connected and the light will therefore therefore not turn on. So um, if you flip this switch on this side down, then once again, it'll work on through the red traveler because you're connecting the power up to the, to the light. So once again, it's working through the red traveler and one traveler only works at a time. So as you can see here, you connect it back, to, flip the switch, turn it on to the blue traveler. Um, power's still sitting on the red screw and it is not turning the light on because it's not connected. If I flip this switch again over here, power is going down to the blue traveler, back up to the light, and then it turns on. So hopefully that makes sense. Maybe that's explained too quickly or maybe it's just um, that easy to understand if I did that. If I did that super well, then I did my job well done. So anyways, you're only using one traveler at a time and depending on the position of the switch, it transfers the power 
from one side to the other side and then when that gets connected through the switch it turns on um, depending on which way the f positions are on the switch so as you can see I already did that like twice but anyways I'm gonna go show you in the real world how that works um, not internally but externally and uh, this is gonna be exciting so let's go and check it out all right so now that we are in the garage I'm going to plug this in and show you guys how this works um, actually I'm not gonna plug it in yet because I'm gonna cut it open I don't want to shock myself with this metal knife so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this three wire straight open. This has my two traveler wires, which I'll show you here in a second. So I'm just gonna cut this open and not cut myself wide open. So you have your wires right here. One second. So the ground is gonna be not really very helpful for this video and same with the neutral so what I'm going to do is separate these wires right here um, the traveler red on top and the traveler uh, black on the bottom so what I'm going to do now is plug that in and you will see right here only one of these works at a time so got it plugged in and now um, when I go when you see the light on the power is on the black wire, no power on the red. So the power is coming from the power source up from here, through the switch, through the black wire, up the switch leg, up to the light. When I turn the switch off, turns it off to the black, cuts the power off, um, and then now the power is sitting on the red wire, boom, and then it's sitting over here at the switch, so it transfers if I turn it off here, why is this not working? It should not be like that. So anyways, thought that was going to work differently. Maybe it didn't. So anyways, originally had the power on the black and then goes up through the switch leg when it's on. And then when you turn it off, it's on the red and then it will turn on on the other side because it transfers the power between the wires depending on the switch position. So like I said, originally, power's coming up right here and then through the black wire on the screw and then transfers over up through that, turn it off, transfers to the red and then flip the switch, transfers it back up through the common up to the light. Kind of made that more confusing on myself, but maybe that made more sense to you, so. Hopefully I did that right, did you justice, and I just kind of confused myself a little bit more. Um, but anyways, that's how that works physically, um, but it makes more sense to me on the line diagram. I'm kind of confusing myself because I haven't really ever tried to explain it this way before physically. So anyways, this is super cool, turning it on and seeing the power only on one of the travelers at a time. Um, but I just kind of confused myself why the power isn't really, why there's, Okay, that's why. So um, that's why when I stick it over here is because the power is connected through, um, the power is over here, but it's connected to one of the screws. So this screw is the traveler right there. If I turn it off there, that should turn it off, but it's just not right now. So maybe I'm actually touching the wire back there or I'm actually probably, that's gonna be it. I don't think it's just working. I think this is picking up all the power. That's why it's confusing me because um, the power is on the screw right there, but I think it's just picking up. Um, so physically, um, what should happen is the power is right there, uh, but it should turn off on, if this was the screw, the switch leg that was being used or the traveler that was being used, um, when I flip the switch, it should cut that off um, and flip it to the other side, depending on which position that is in. But Unfortunately, it's just picking up all the power on all sides of the screws right now. So that's why it was throwing me off. So anyways, hopefully that makes sense to you. And hopefully that helped you out um, with this internal and external diagram. Um, <clears throat> so super cool stuff. Hopefully you learned something and I didn't confuse you any worse than when you came here. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I would appreciate it. 
to help the channel out and i'd love to see you guys back in the next video don't forget to check out the giveaway video right now just hit 9,000 subscribers so thank you for that i'm doing 50 dollar giveaway on cash app or paypal so go follow the rules if you want to be entered to that on the last video and check the description for anything else and hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload or do live streams i think i'm going to start doing gaming streams on twitch so make sure to follow along on that um, twitch.com slash daily electrician i just changed that so go follow that and i'll see you guys there maybe tonight god bless have an awesome rest of your day peace out